One of the concepts that really troubles a lot of Christians about the book of Amos and other prophets is the concept of the wrath of God. Because Amos and other prophets announce that God is angry and God is going to punish the people. And so there's this idea that the Old Testament is a book of wrath with a God of anger and the New Testament is a God of love. Here's the thing. The God of love is the God of anger. You can't have a God of love without a God of anger because if God loves you, God will be angry when your neighbor does something that hurts you. God will be angry at your neighbor. And if God loves your neighbor, God is going to be angry at you when you do something that hurts your neighbor. So there's no difference. You cannot really have a God of love unless you understand that God gets angry when people suffer innocently. So God is angry with his people at the time of the book of Amos because they are living in such a way that hurts the poor, that oppresses people. And God says, because I love all people, I am angry and there's going to be punishment. Here's the key thing though, that punishment is never the end of the story. God's anger and punishment do not ever lead to God casting off the people. Rather, it's to bring about repentance so that a wholeness in terms of relationships will be what happens in God's reign.